Gotha, a small town right in between Orlando and Windermere. You probably passed right through without even realizing it. However, this small town has a rich history that all started with one man, Henry H. Hempel. Henry Hempel is a German immigrant who came down to Florida from Buffalo, New York. He then began to buy up a thousand acres here locally. After he came down here and established and purchased a hundred thousand acres, here of the territory, he actually named Gotha, Florida after his hometown, Gotha, Germany. The citrus farming was very, very big up until just a few years ago, probably about maybe 10, 12 years ago, there were 15 acres still remaining. We sit today with very few orange groves left. Nature is a defining part of Gotha, and a huge contribution to that is the work of Dr. Henry Neerling. Dr. Neerling is known as one of the fathers of Florida horticulture. He was behind the propagation of so many of the varieties of plants that we have in our gardens in Florida today. He experimented with these, brought them from other places from around the world, and then continued to work with them so that now we have all these extraordinarily beautiful plants in our gardens. The Neeling Gardens is what we have today remaining from Dr. Neeling's original home and gardens that he established here in 1885 and begin growing the tropical and subtropical plants that he really loved. 2009 was when the Henry Neeling Society was formed to try and save the property. The first thing they did was get the property put on the National Register of Historic Places. We have a wonderful garden team here and we have been replanting a lot of things that Henry Neeling worked with and then uncovering and helping the things that were still here. There is always something in bloom in the gardens. I don't think you will ever come here when there isn't something interesting to look at. While Neerling Gardens has been able to maintain its acres of plants and keep its rural identity intact, not all of Gotha has been this fortunate. Unfortunately, with the urbanization, People have come in, and it has definitely encroached around us. We, as Gotha, came into play with the Gotha Rural Settlement Association to keep us a preservation district. We try to maintain the history and culture of what was built by Henry A. Hempel to keep an area as rural as possible. We are a preservation district because we have so much of forest still remaining. And one of the key pieces to keep us in the rural community is to make sure that we had these four signs built that for all four entrance points into Gotha, you will see a welcome to Gotha sign and it will say Gotha Rural Settlement. While it may be small, Gotha is a town with a deep history that is just begging to be experienced and learned about. So next time you pass through, stop and take a look around. You may find something you didn't even know was there.